Welcome back to our healthy home. So today I'm going to show you how to make an easy deodorant. So this is going to be a from scratch recipe that's going to be better than any store bought deodorant that you currently have. So usually when you buy the store bought deodorants, they have stabilizers, they have preservatives, they have artificial fragrances, they have um, artificial color sometimes they have DEA they have parabens so they have a lot of toxic ingredients that go right into your bloodstream so you don't have to use those anymore this is going to be a all-natural very easy to make deodorant so if that interests you keep watching so let's get into the ingredients so you're going to need a container not an ingredient but you're gonna need a container to house your product now some people have them in little jars and you can scoop it out if that's what you want to do that's fine i just like not getting anything on my hands per se now you can buy these online and i'm going to have links to everything down below for you to use i'm also going to have some evening primrose you can use capsule form like i'm going to use or you can use the oil i also have some shea butter here i wasn't able to get the ivory that i like so i just got the yellow it really doesn't matter but um, you just have to keep in mind that the ivory is going to be actual shea butter and the yellow is more like another nut butter, but perfectly fine. You don't have to, if you don't want to use shea butter, you can use actual mango butter, which is what I'm going to use. I brought this for reference. So either or a butter, avocado butter, I wouldn't use because it usually tends to be thinner and I would use cocoa butter because that's going to be too thick. That's the only one you can't really sub. So mango butter or shea butter. So we're gonna go with mango butter, a little bit lighter. And I really like this, especially because it gives like a nice softness. I use this in a facial cream. If you're interested in that recipe, let me know. It's gonna be a cranberry face cream. So one butter of choice. You're gonna need some beeswax. It doesn't matter if you have the yellow or not, but I just say use the yellow, why not? Um, you don't need to get it any lightened or uh, bleached or anything like that defeats the purpose then we're going to use coconut oil and you can sub this out for a different oil but i like coconut oil because it has that thick um it's a thicker oil so that's why i like it we're going to use some cornstarch now i used to make it with baking soda but that can really irritate your skin if you have sensitive skin so we're going to use some arrowroot today and then we're just going to have some two essential oils, which are tea tree oil and geranium oil. And I'll get more into the reasons why you need that one later on. So let's get into the recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a little double boiler. So we're just going to use a pot that is wider than the bowl that we're going to use on top. So I just like to use stainless steel with both. This is a mixing bowl that you can use from like any of your stand mixers. So I'm just going to put it in here and you see it fits really nicely and I just filled this up with about at least an inch of water we're not going to keep it on too long so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it on like a medium high and that's just so we can get it hot enough to melt our first ingredient which is going to be the beeswax so let me go ahead and get the beeswax we're going to put it in here and we're going to start it melting so the recipe is going to be down below and just a hint if you like to make do-it-yourself recipes definitely get some kind of protector so they don't get messed up as you're making your recipes and so we're going to start with the beeswax we're going to make enough for at least two deodorants but i find i always make more so this is my beeswax you just want it to be natural and like i said it comes in different colors and i just use plastic spoon just when I'm doing these kind of things I do that as a habit because I always made products and sold them so I just always like to use you know plastic ingredients and gloves and things like that just so it keeps it as clean as possible so we're just going to melt this in so I'm going to put a little light layer on the bottom Okay, so let's go ahead and put in our butter. And I did go ahead and put it down low. You just need to watch it. And then we're going to put in our oil. Now 
forgot I was trying to double it. So why is the butter in here, you may think, you may ask. And it's just uh, to thicken it up, but it also gives it a, a consistency that spreads really easy, kind of softens. So you'll find that your underarms feel as soft as the rest of your body. And that's what you're going for. Now one thing is, it's really important to make sure you keep this warm. And then when you, when you take it out and put it in containers, you're going to need to do so really quickly because the beeswax will harden really quickly if it's not kept warm. So now we can go ahead and add in, once this melts, we can go ahead and just add the other ingredients in it. We're going to leave the essential oils to last because you don't want to heat them up too hot so that they lose their properties. Go ahead and just use my kitchen scissors and cut the capsules open. I'm just keep stirring. All of these ingredients are edible, so you can use your regular spoon for this. That's what I'm going to switch to. You just don't want the plastic melting or anything like that. So that is the arrow root. And you want to go ahead and make it in bulk so you don't have to make it every single time you're about to run out. But it calls for very little ingredients. So now we want to make sure there's no clumps. Just keep mixing it a little bit more. I'm going to add in the essential oils. Now, to make it a little bit more male friendly, you'll just add in more tea tree. And to make it more woman friendly, you would add in just more geranium other than the standard. So what I'm going to add is just going to be the standard. And you smell it and you determine what you think about it and add other essential oils if you want another fragrance you can add lavender and things like that i did forget one ingredient to share with you guys and that's just going to be a few drops of lemon or lime and is that totally needed probably not but i just wanted that fresh and then we're ready to put this in our jars okay so it will be hot so you can or you don't have to and then we're just going to fill these up completely to the top and it depends on the type of jar that you have so some jars you fill from the upside down I don't like the those these are just going to be more Fail proof, and they're going to harden just as you put them in there. So I have a little bit left. You can decide what you want to do with that. But this is what they look like. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put them in the fridge just so you, it will keep the process going quicker. So this is what it looks like. I just set it out a little bit so that it could defrost a little bit. But this is what it'll look like. It's nice and smooth. 
You see how it just really absorbs? And what I used to do was let it harden a little bit because it may do this if it gets a little too cold. And then I would just fill it up with a little bit extra. So I can do that. But that is what it looks like. So I told you I would tell you guys a little bit about some of the ingredients and why I chose them. So I used even and Prim Rose Oil, and this is something that you can actually take as a supplement, which is why it's in capsule form. But I chose this simply because it can help regulate your hormones. So sometimes you may be sweating more, and I wanted to point out that this is a deodorant, not an antiperspirant, even though it may help in that way with some of the ingredients that we chose, that's not what it's for. But that may help, which is why some people have sweating profusely and it is just because of their hormones so this regulates hormones and it is also really just good and soothing on the skin and healing so that's why this ingredient in there then tea tree i've showed that in some of my other herbs and herbal remedies and it just has antibacterial antifungal properties which is why you would want them and a deodorant and then we have our geranium oil now this is just really good for healing and soothing but then again, it helps with the, um, it helps with over sweating, so it can help regulate the sweating. So that's why I wanted to put that, um, that's why I put these ingredients in there. And so I hope that it gives you a little bit more clarity. So that we have the arrowroot and the cornstarch simply for thickening agents. So you can use either or in place of the other. And so, we also had just the oils and everything just to make a right ratio so that it has some thickness but it also has some slickness it's really soft I used coconut oil and you can sub that for other oils maybe olive oil avocado oil so those would be the best those would be the best in this case because they do actually penetrate the skin so we don't want anything really to stain on the skin but we want it to just go ahead and penetrate into the skin so it won't be like this layer of goo on the outside so when you're using a natural deodorant you want to make sure that you detox first so just use nothing for a whole week or you can use like a lime juice a lot of people just use lime just for deodorant and that would work for me more in like the colder months but then when it is warmer and I need a little bit more, I do use the deodorant. Alternatively, you can just use baking soda, but like I said, it can irritate your skin. So maybe use that one day, use the lime juice the other day, and rotate so that you won't get irritated. And then lastly, you want to make sure you get this deodorant all the way off. Um, and so you want to do some kind of exfoliating every couple of days just to make sure you're getting everything off because it does have a butter in it and that's the only thing and it does have the wax in there to keep it solid at a hotter temperature so another thing i don't worry about this getting onto my clothes but just make don't overdo it don't put too much like you would do um, if you use something else, just do very light and it will work fine. I never had any problems with getting things out. But definitely don't put too much. Um, and maybe wait a little bit before you can put your clothes on. But I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Let me know if you do try it. If you've ever made your own deodorant and what you used. And so I'm going to leave you with this. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious with you. Um, Yah, or the Lord, turn his face towards you and give you peace. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you check out my do-it-yourself home and homemaking playlist. I also have some shea butter. I have some other do-it-yourself recipes for potpourri or anything that you may be interested in. And if you don't see the video you want, put the comment down below and I will look into making it for you. Bye. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure you check out my do-it-yourself playlist. I have how to make shea butter. I have how to make, what else do I have how to make? <laughs> yes, welcome back to our healthy home. <laughs>